The stability of the financial system is essential to ensure the stability of the global economy. Many tools and instruments are used to facilitate stability in the global financial system. One such tool is the rule of law. In May 2016, the legal department of the IMF organized a high-level seminar which included senior lawyers and policymakers from around the world. Some of these participants shared their views on the role of law in promoting financial stability. The rule of law is important because it determines what, what powers you can, what tools you can use to address financial stability issues. The legal framework has to be there to provide a level of comfort, of certainty, of clarity. And I believe that the rule of law is a, a potent stabilizing mechanism for financial markets. And without it, you have just chaos. Let's look at the global financial crisis. It just demonstrated the costs that failure of having a robust legal framework in place to deal with the crisis. So they had no choice but to use taxpayer funds to resolve uh, failures. And if the country doesn't act quickly to resolve its economic trouble, People lose their jobs, people lose their future, and they really get hurt. So the rule of law is essential. Europe, in a way, suffered maybe even more by the lack of harmonized rules because of the fact that we have a certain layer of reg regulation that is European, but we also rely a lot on national rules. We want to make sure that implementation across jurisdiction happens in a manner that is consistent because global finance needs global rules and for firms to operate across borders uh, it is extremely helpful to, to have rules in place that are broadly consistent and similar. And to make sure that the tools that are designed principally on a domestic level can also be made to work in a global environment on a cross-border basis. These policies need to be implemented effectively across all jurisdictions. This needs to be done in a manner that takes into account the specific circumstances of countries, the nature of the financial system, the level of development in these countries, the differences in legal frameworks. Each member state shall demonstrate goodwill to accept those regulations, but with the help of international organizations providing them with the uh, best uh, practices in the, in the field. The rule of law cannot be only written. The rule of law needs to be applied and implemented. And this is, this is why it is so important to see how it works on the spot, in the state, whether what is written is actually meaningful and whether, and this is very, very important, there are institutions that are able to apply these rules. When you're in the business of financial stability and monetary stability, you need to be transparent. The public has to understand what you're up to. When investors don't have uh, information, they try to guess. And I think that it's better uh, to have information than to guess. And we're much better off because of some of the changes that have been made to the legal infrastructure, changes that have enabled us to better deal with companies that would have formerly thought to have been too big to fail. Innovation is happening at a very rapid pace, and the regulation has to deal with it, and the regulatory authorities will have to improve their thinking according to the product innovations that is happening in the market. The law, it's a living, breathing creature. Just as financial techniques evolve, so the law must evolve, and it must keep up with what is going on in the world. We need to, to channel finance towards the protection of the environment and of the planet. I think this is still missing in the regulatory agenda. Finance has to help the preservation of, of the Earth. With the idea of protecting people, finally, people, citizens, are the goal of law, not economics, people.